Welcome back to Christine's Home Affairs. Christine. We have leftover egg yolks from some bread that I'm baking today. So my bread rolls are in the oven and I had to use six egg whites to do them. And I'm left with six egg yolks. So I'm going to make some quiches today. So they're really, really simple. There's not much to it. You can put whatever ingredients you like in them. So I'm going to start with the ingredients that I have to cook first. So I have my new little cooker here. I don't know how to use it, but we'll get there. Okay, so as I said, you can put whatever ingredients in here that you like. I've got some spinach, finely cut, some onions, red onions, finely diced. You can use red or brown, you don't have to use any. I've got three rashes of bacon that's finely chopped, some carrots, and being low carb, you probably don't want to do carrots or keto. You may not want to have the carrots, but it's a little bit of carrot. It adds some colour. It adds some colour. <laughs> um, look, it's not going to hurt to have a little bit. You want to check your own macros. And mushrooms. We love mushrooms, so there's going to be lots of mushrooms in there. We just use some little button mushrooms and I chop them up small. So, this is ready to go. All I need to do is put my bacon in here and fry that. I've also got some other ingredients that are going into the egg mixture. But first of all, we want to fry the bacon. You'll notice I haven't put any oil or fat into the pan. I don't think it needs it. The bacon has enough. If you want to, though, go for it. I'd probably use butter. I like butter. So I'm doing the uh, bacon just until it goes a little bit translucent. I don't want to make it go crispy or anything. Pop the onions in. If you wanted to add capsicum or zucchini, anything like that, you can add. You can add any vegetable you like to this. You can even have your quiche plain, just cheese, cream, and eggs. I've also not put any seasoning in. If you want to, you can do that. But I find the bacon salty enough. In. We don't need to cook them for too long. Uh, they'll bake in the oven as they're going because they've only been cut up into really tiny pieces. And we can pop the mushroom in. And we can put the spinach in. So it's pretty simple. There are no rules in this kitchen. You just put together whatever you like. Um, fry it up a little bit. Let everything go a little bit soft. Let the greens wilt. I like putting carrots in the quiche because it just gives it a really nice colour and same with the spinach too. So that's all. I'm going to leave this now to cool in the pan. So because the pan is still quite hot, it's going to... Oh, it's going to um, still cook the veggies a little bit longer anyway. I don't want anything crispy. I don't want anything browned. So I'll just set this aside, let it cool down, and uh, we'll put this into the egg mixture later on. While we're waiting for our uh, mixture to cool, we've got to grease our pans. 
So these are really, really tiny um, muffin molds or um, cake molds. You can use a bigger one if you like, you just won't have as many muffins, quiches. So I'm using these really tiny ones. Now they're a bit of a nuisance to get the, um, the mixture out. So you wanna make sure you grease it really well. You can use just a normal spray and give it a spray, but I find it doesn't come out that easily. So my way, favorite way of putting butter or buttering my dishes is just with a bit of glad wrap and that protects my fingers from getting too greasy, otherwise I have butter all over them. Nothing wrong with that, but, you know. So grease your pan really, really well, and that'll hopefully make it a little bit easier to get your mixture out. So there we go, we've got our trays greased. You won't need so many trays if you're making bigger ones. You can even use patty cake cups as well, but I find it difficult to get the paper away from the quiche later on. So many problems. Anyway, let's make our quiche mixture. So we've got our six egg yolks and we need some cream. So this is just um, a thickened cream, a pouring cream. And we want probably about 200 ml which is about that much. You can go a bit more if you like. And give that a mix. So just mix the egg and the cream together. And then we want to add our cheese. And that's all we want to do to this particular mixture. So I've grated this. This is a tasty cheese. Um, you know me, I like my approximate measures. So we have about a cup here. And another cup. And we just want to bind that together. So there we go, we've got six egg yolks and a couple of cups of cheese. And it's a tasty cheese. Now once my um, bacon and mushroom mixture has been cooled, I can add this to it and then I can put it into the patty cakes, uh, into the baking trays. So I do just go and give this a bit of a stir to help it cool down a little bit doesn't have to be completely cold, but you don't want to be cooking your eggs as soon as you put your hot mixture in there. So I'll just give this a few more minutes to cool down and then we'll pop it in with the egg and cheese. So my meat mixture's cooled down enough that I can put all this into the cheese mixture. So all I'm going to do is just pour that straight in And we can combine all of that together. So once you've mixed all of the egg and cheese and the meat and veggies together, it's ready to go into the pan. So I've got my baking trays nicely greased, they're all ready to go. My bread rolls are almost finished, so I can pop these into the oven shortly. And all I want to do is spoon them out, spoon the mixture out into the tray. Okay, I've Filled up all my pans with the uh, meat and egg and cheese mixture. So the quiches are ready to go into the oven. And I've actually timed this perfectly. So uh, I was making bread rolls. That's why I had six eggs left over, egg yolks left over. So the bread rolls are just coming out of the oven now and this can go straight in. So here we have 
really nice big red rolls made from the egg whites. So this quiche mixture can go straight into the oven. I'm going to put the oven up to about 200 degrees. It'll probably go in the oven for about 20 minutes or so, but I'll have that written down anyway. And I had a little bit of extra mix left over. I didn't want to use another pan, so I've just popped it into some patty cakes. The oven's up to 200 degrees. Uh, I'll pop them in there, as I said, for probably about 15 minutes. I'll keep an eye out on them. And in the meantime, I'm going to sit here and smell my bread rolls. So if you want the recipe for the bread rolls, I'll post a link up here for you. So it'll be up there. Um, and that's for the bread rolls. That uses the six egg whites and what's left over is the egg yolks that we didn't use in this bread mixture. So we're going to have a bit of a feast over the next few days. So I've got a dozen rolls. Um, they'll go into the freezer. They'll be great for hamburgers and things. And the quiches, they're fantastic for lunch. Uh, we have a couple of shops in town and usually I prepare the meals ourselves, myself. Uh, so I just freeze everything. So I'll show you the quiches when they're done. Here we go. All the quiches are done, so my mini quiches and the two extras have just come out of the oven. About 200, well, it was 200 degrees and it, they were in there for about 20 minutes. So I'm going to set these aside to cool down now, pull them out and we'll enjoy some for lunch. Catch you in the next video.